Happy Social Work Month. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, hi, Samantha. Happy Social Work Month. Thank you. Hi, Carol, and happy Social Work Month. Thank you very much. Good morning. How are you? I'm well. How are you? Good. Good. Happy Social Work Month. Thank you. We're asking some of our great social work employees, uh, what do social workers do? Probably a better question, Jojo, would be what do social workers not do? Um, they do a little bit of everything. Um, the way that I like to describe the discipline in the building is that social workers are the glue that hold the center together. In spite of the fact that our departments are very small, we truly touch every aspect of life that goes on there in the buildings. So we are very, very integrated, not only into the patients' lives and working with their families, but we also work with all of the other disciplines to help affect the best outcome for our patients. I think also as part of our role is advocating and promoting legislation that supports all human rights. We empower folks to you know, take control of their lives. We provide counseling and education. Um, we work with um, you know, several different types of patient populations um, and really try to enhance the patient's quality of life. Social work really looks at the person and their environment and how that person relates to the environment and their family structure and all of the systems that we live in each day. So that is the biggest, I would say, difference um, in relationship to other helping professionals. Why did you become a social worker? What drew you to social work? Because everyone matters. At risk or vulnerable populations like folks with, who suffer with um, dementia or other chronic health diseases or those challenged by the environments that they live in or their economic status. All of those folks need a voice. Um, and I felt early on that I could be that voice. Large organizations often need to be changed to recognize and better serve these vulnerable populations. In my, the later part of my career, I really felt I could make a difference on a larger scale. Well, I wish I could come up with a better story, but in all honesty, I had a cousin who was 12 years my senior. She was a graduate of St. Bonaventure's University in New York, and she was a social worker. And I adored her, and I wanted to be just like her. I like to think that the lucky people are those of us that find our niche so early on. And I found my niche in the very beginning, and I've never looked back. So while I was in college, um, I really had very little interest in the maths and sciences, I'll be honest. So I took a human service course that really piqued my interest. And through that course, it helped me to commit to the, my social work career. Um, certainly I became a social worker because I knew that everyone is important. You know, regardless of their background or their history, that any person has the opportunity to be a part of the greater good. And as a social worker, I can help them have their voices be heard. So I know that I could always help someone change their life for the better. And that's really why I became a social worker. What would you say is the most gratifying part or the best part of being a social worker? Yeah, I think the best part of being a social worker is knowing that I can make that impact on somebody's life. Another thing that's very rewarding is that we constantly have to think creatively out of, outside the box to find you know, unique solutions to meet all of our individual's needs. I really enjoy touching lives. And I also have to say in the past few years when I've been available as a resource, being able to be one piece of support that they can look to. Because every day I am humbled by the hard work, the dedication, the creativity, the advocacy that they show in their buildings. And being able to be a small part of helping them is very gratifying to me at this stage in my career. Um, and to be able to help someone cope with a problem and empower him and her is gratifying. And it's really a privilege to share their journey a bit with them. 
So working at the macro service level, which is what I do today, to affect change in a larger organization is really the would be the best part of my job today. So if someone you know had an interest in social work and they really wanted to get a taste of what it would be like, do you have advice on what they could do in their daily routine, like volunteer or you know shadow a social worker to find out more? So what I would do is I would look to your community at large. Um, most communities have, um, you know, senior centers or outpatient counseling centers. Your local hospital is a great place that you can go to and offer your time to volunteer. And really finding that community agency that supports that passion. And they're always looking for volunteers and advocates um, to participate in legislative days, to participate in fundraising, and to also provide hands-on volunteer work. So this month, we recognize and extend a thank you to the social work professionals in our centers for the compassion they bring to their lives of the people that they touch each and every day, helping them to overcome life's hurdles so that they can live to their full potential. Your work is so valued. And we thank you.